What's up awesome people of YouTube? Welcome back to Yo Adrian's channel. Today we are in American Truck Simulator and yes I am back after about four to five days of a break and today we are a cattle hauler in the game. I'm very excited for this one and uh, I'll explain why we're using the international truck here once we get into the video. But yes we are using the international HX520 as well as this Wilson cattle hauler which the cattle hauler is available on the various ATS mod sites where the international truck is available on the Steam Workshop. And of course, before I get asked, yes, I'll have links in the description for both of them. Let us go ahead and load up the cargo here real quick. All right, cargo has been loaded as you guys can see. Let's go ahead and start this bad boy up. It's got a 565 horsepower Cummins X15 engine, and we currently do have a 10 speed today. But we are currently decked out on lights, as you guys can see there in the bull bar. And then, you know, of course, we got lights on the truck and on the trailer. And you guys see the little moo moos in there. We got some cows today. Very cool. Very cool stuff indeed. You guys already know about the interior. We showed this off the last time we had this truck. Uh, pretty much like your international Lone Star. Kind of the same interior, just a few uh, a few obvious uh, differences from the Lone Star, but we do have our cab here, or our sleeper back there. Got a six-pack of cola, and we are ready to hit the road. Let's go ahead and release the parking brake here. We are currently in Fort Collins, Colorado, or uh, we're actually in Lamar, Colorado, and we are taking this up to Fort Collins, Colorado. It's currently 6.30 in the morning game time. And we are ready to hit the road. Very cool about this one. This trailer actually has... Uh, which way am I supposed to get out of here? Because there's got barriers over there. Okay, yeah, it is over there. I was like, where am I getting out at? But yes, there is three different uh, paint schemes, I guess I should say, for this cattle trailer. There's this one, aluminum. And then there is also a uh, an old rusted out one, which we will also be checking out. Because that is what the trailer was actually advertised that was an old cattle trailer. So we'll be taking a look at that older rusted out one as well. Because we typically don't get rusted out stuff in the game. You know, we always get like the newer shiny stuff. We never really get anything that's like weathered or rusted or anything. But... Here we are taking a look at the nice sunrise here in Colorado. And I'm just going to tell you guys, it has been a uh, week. I'm just going to say that right now. It has been a week. I know I pretty much sound like a broken record when I talk about it, but it's been busy, uh, stressful, and all that fun stuff. And like I said, I sound like a broken record because it's the same thing every single time. Trust me, guys. I know. I Trust me. I hate saying it as much as I do. But it is what it is for the most part. That's all I can pretty much tell you guys. Picked up over there at Kraft Heinz. And we are going to see if we can make this left turn. There's nobody coming this way. But we got all the cars in the world over here. We're going to try to just get in this left lane. Oh, maybe not. Maybe that guy's in the left lane. Oh, no, he's not. So we're going to try to get in this left lane here. Oh, we almost scraped. We barely scraped that sign, man. Whew. There we go. Now we're back on track. <laughs> we are back on track. But hopefully you guys are having a good Friday today so far. Hopefully you guys' is, uh, week was, uh, was um, weekend is off to a good... Dude, I gotta get over, man. You see my blinker on, dude. You literally see my freaking blinker on. You don't give two... Sh you don't care. Y'all don't care. There we go. Sometimes that's how it be, man. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. If you gotta, you know, stop in the fast lane because, you know, some someone ain't letting you over... 
got to do what you got to do. I tried slow. I didn't want to try slowing down because I'm going to be slowing down cars behind me. But then again, I guess that doesn't really matter since I, uh, you know, just kind of stopped in the middle of the lane. What is that? Oh, tree bark. Uh, or a tree. Okay. Tree. Tree. Tree branches. All right. But yes, hopefully your week was good. Hopefully your weekend is off to a good start. Um, like I said, been very stressful. I do have my bachelor party tomorrow. So I'll kind of get into more of that here later on in the video. But we are coming to a curve here and I don't want to tip this truck. I really don't want to roll this truck. There we go. There we go. But yes, we are using the International HX520. Now, I have actually seen this truck a total of four times within the past month. And the reason why we are using the cattle trailer today is because that is the only thing I have seen this truck haul. The four times I have seen it is a cattle trailer. Now, y'all can argue, hey, it might be the same company, you know, company got them, you know, as fleet trucks or something. I mean, yes, you can argue that. You can definitely argue that, but all the, the, the four semis that I have seen all look different. Like, they were different colors, different designs and stuff, and I get that, you know, it's kind of like Prime where they're all different colors. So, I mean, they could be the same company. I don't know. But, yes, the four times I have seen this truck out on the road, it was always hauling a cattle trailer. So, that is why we're hauling a cattle trailer today. Now, I was going to go with the three axles in the back because I have seen one like that as well. But I decided to just go with the standard, you know, two axles in the rear. So, but yes. Very nice combo here. Very nice small town we're going through. Uh, Ease, Colorado is what it said. There's the hearts right there. Oh, there's some horses or something over there. Yeah, look at the horses right there. Hor horse races, it looks like. It's kind of cool, though. They got like a, a loves right on the edge of this town, man. That's really, really neat. I'm actually going to stop here for a uh, thumbnail. I actually like the way that thumbnail came out. It actually looks really good. But yes, like I was saying, it's just been a busy week. Work, I, I'm, I don't even really even want to talk about work anymore. It's just this past week with what changes my company is bringing. And when I say my company, I don't mean Amazon. Because delivery drivers like us are subcontracted through Amazon. So technically we work for Amazon, but we don't. My boss is technically just the middleman. In all of this so we technically you know don't work for Amazon but we do and so let me tell you guys I almost quit Wednesday and I will tell you this it was move-in week at the U of I campus in Champaign and we ended up getting uh, one campus route usually the campus routes will go to the company uh, that loads after us because they do the same thing in the morning that they do with us there's there's one company that's like the main company that's us and then there's another one that does like the back I don't want to say it's the backup routes but it does the routes that we don't do so it's pretty much the same thing and they are usually the ones that get the campus routes but for some reason they ended up giving us a campus route and let me freaking tell you that I was not happy because I mean typically yes when we do get them they'll put me on campus because I can you know I can knock it out pretty quick and a lot of other people will complain about going on campus like I'll do Champaign's U of I campus any day but then you throw me on Bloomington like Bloomington normal Illinois campuses Wesleyan and I think it's something EIU or something like that I one of the I don't know but I will refuse to do those I refuse to do those I told them that I would just leave the van in Bloomington or I, if I find out before I will just turn around and just go straight home if y'all put me on Bloomington campus 
but they put me on the U of I campus, which, you know, I've, like I said, I've done that before, so I don't really mind. But, let's just say I had 88 stops, which for campus is a pretty normal route. It's a little small, but it's pretty much normal. But here's the kicker. I was slated to have 300 and something packages. I think they said it was like 350 packages. So the only thing that I seen was, or uh, I had 276 altogether. Because that's the way Amazon is. Like your full route is not what you get. You'll get a portion of it. So if like, let's say your route says you have 200 or like, let's say 160 stops. Sometimes you won't get that full route. So you'll probably see between like 130 to 150 for the most part. You typically will never, ever, ever get the full one. So I had 88 with 276. Now, you know, it's campus. I understand it's going to be, you know, larger because you got all the apartments. People are ordering stuff. It's moving week. You know, people are going to be ordering stuff for their apartment, stuff they need, stuff they want the core all that you know all that mumbo jumbo but let me tell you it took three people to load my van up and I can usually load my van up myself man there's so many broken down vehicles man I just don't get it I really don't get it I've recorded a couple like uh, uh, back burner episodes which are like episodes that I use in case I can't make a video or you know, I can't upload one, so I just kind of throw them in places so I can do daily uploads. And I've kind of recorded a bunch of those that are ATS related. And man, I let me tell you, there are a lot. And I do mean a lot of broken down vehicles, a lot more accidents, and a lot of, you know, tow trucks and stuff on the side of the road. More than I've seen construction in this game. Like, you can put me in a construction zone, I'll be fine, but then you just throw a random car parked in the lane then you know I'm, it's, it's 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 gonna be a bad time and I know it's gonna be a bad time because I guarantee you I'm gonna have to pull into this way station oh I can bypass it I'm cool with that I am cool with that but yes yeah, so I'm just gonna let you guys know this might be a two or three part video with the updates and stuff I have no idea just depends on how much we get through today Going back to what I was talking about, though. Uh, we got a broken down truck over here. Are they blocking the whole interstate off? Yeah, they're blocking the whole interstate off. Oh, look at that Amazon truck. Oh, Jeffrey Bezos, man. Jeffrey Bezos, come get your truck, man. It broke. So, can we even go straight? I'm pretty sure we can. I don't see why not. Speaking of Jeffrey Bezos, if you guys know that like TikTok song by Bo Burnham, like that Jeffrey Bezos one, uh, I actually have created a TikTok. I finally caved in and uh, made an account, and yeah, my fiance is addicted to TikTok. I'm not that addicted as she claims I am because I'm not on it 24/7. Well, I don't want to say she's on it 24/7, but she's on it quite a bit, and I'm not, you know, on it as much. But there are some cool stuff that I did find on TikTok. So if you guys do want to follow me on TikTok, I'll have my username and stuff in the description down below. If you guys do want to follow me and stuff, I will uh, start posting stuff on there as well. Probably do some like Amazon delivery stuff and I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. We, we shall see. You might do some gaming. We'll, we'll see. Going back to my work story though. So, I don't know if you guys know much about, you know, Amazon and stuff, but their delivery drivers have their packages, or majority of their packages in these things called totes. And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I'll have a picture up on the screen for you guys so you guys can kind of visually see what I'm talking about. Now, different DSPs, which are delivery service partners, which, you know, that's what the subcontractors are, uh, every warehouse is different on how they do their stuff. So with the way ours are, typically it's packages 1 through 15 are in your first tote, 16, 16 through 30 is in your second, 
31 to 45 and so on so on so on so my first stop was about 75 pa packages and my app was already starting to mess up after that let me tell you because oh there's someone on the side of the road see if only yeah, of course all night's gonna go screw us over it's a nice looking door man Look at that cr like chromed out door, but it's like chromed out red. That's actually real nice looking. I like that. I think we were good. Oh, yeah, we're good. Old Knight's going to stay in the hammer lane. Got to love it. But, but yes. So, we go to, like, scan our packages when we deliver them. And it'll tell you, you know, you, you scan package, like, 14 or like package two of two or one of one or something like that Well, I can already tell you today is gonna be a bad day When it was telling me I had scanned package 80 of 75 And when I seen that and it still showed that I had like a couple like two or three packages that were not scanned So I'm sitting here trying to scratch in my head trying to figure out what on earth it's talking about Because it said I'm on package 80 of 75 so I went through the ones that I've already scanned through. I went through, made sure, scanned them in. We had to rescan them just to make sure, check the addresses and stuff to make sure it's not letting me scan everything that I have. And then I ended up finding the other couple that I was missed that I didn't scan. When I got done, it was telling me I was at 83 of 75. So I took a screenshot of it and sent it to my boss. And I said, what the heck is going on here? And uh, she, they didn't have any answers for me. The warehouse, the people that are like the on the road t service team at the warehouse had no answers for me. All they basically told me was if it lets you scan and lets you deliver it, keep it. Oh, here we go. Work zone, 55 miles an hour. I haven't seen a work zone in a while, man. I haven't. I've just seen accidents. So talking about work zones, I guess I threw in a work zone. End road work, right lane must exit. I'm not worried about that. Colorado Springs. Speed limit 55, minimum 40. Drive safely. So yes, it's like, so my, yeah, like I said, my boss basically told me, or they told me that if it works, you know, just deliver it, don't worry about it. I said, okay. So, in total, it was 88 stops. I had to when after I loaded out, I had to have one of the one of my buddies come and help me out because my boss deemed my van unsafe to drive. It was basically packed wall to wall, end to end of packages and totes. There was no walkway for me to move back there, nothing. So she had him take all my majority of my overstock packages that were duplicates that were like the same stop. So he took those, rescued me, in, or helped me out in the morning, and then he ended up having to come back to help me because I was getting frustrated to all hell with this route. And what we have these things, if like, let's say, oh, bus, don't you try it. Do not, don't you even try it, dude. Okay, I was about to say, don't even try it, man. But we have these things, they're called missorts. And what miss sorts are is basically if, like, let's say it's stop number 96 and it's in your tote that's supposed to be, like, stops numbers 1 through 15, that is what we call miss sorts. So typically on, like, a normal package route, which is, like, 160 packages, between 100 and, like, 30 to 170 packages is, like, a normal route, depending on where you're at. So typically you would get that much and I think we ended up missing our exit because it looks like it's making us turn around. So yeah, I think we ended up missing our exit somehow. But that's okay, we'll take the scenic route, no worries. No worries at all, we'll kind of come here through the mountains. So all in all, I had 54 missorts that day. And I had to backtrack a bunch of times because the packages that I was missing, I ended up finding later on, 
And of course, I'm not going to sit there and go through all those toasts right now when I'm trying to, you know, get this route done and stuff. And of course, it was move-in week. So there's a lot of people on campus, a lot of traffic, a lot of pedestrian traffic. So it was definitely a fun one. So yeah, we did miss our exit somehow. If it's going to make us get back on the highway. Yep, it's definitely going to make us get back on the highway. Interesting. Interesting. I wonder where this comes from because it looks like it just comes from our interstate. Oh, I see. It's an on-ramp. Okay, I see. I see what it does. That's a cool little plant like right there. Right off the interstate. Okay, this is going to be dangerous. Yeah, this is going to be a dangerous one. I can't see traffic over here. Ooh, we're going to hit the guardrail. Barely, barely missed the guardrail there. All right. So let's go ahead and get back on the interstate, I guess. Yeah, I don't think we were meant to make a left turn over there for a truck. I think we were meant to go right. We'll go ahead and Jake break down for this. This is a neat little on-off ramp, though. I haven't been here before, at least. I don't, at least I don't think I have. Very neat little on-off ramp. So, yeah, that was my, basically, my story of me almost walking out on my job because of the BS that happened that day. Luckily, yesterday, they gave me a nice, uh, I don't want to say it was a small route, but it was pretty much a normal route. Very easy nothing to worry about and you know I got the day and tomorrow off so I definitely a fun one but then again now my boss ended up putting a new policy in with the schedules oh it's 45 through here uh yikes we are definitely speeding definitely speeding trucks 45 I should have read that truckers you are not down yet another half mile of steep grades and sharp curves to go Okay, well, let's go ahead and go 45 and make sure that we don't, you know, lock up our brakes or anything like that. So, yes, going along with the scheduling, basically, a while back, she, did, she asked for our availability. So, I put down that I'm good to work Sunday through Thursday, and I prefer to have, you know, Friday, Saturday off, but I can work if need be. I feel like this is where I messed up. Keep left. Okay, I feel like this is where I messed up. Yep, this is exactly where I messed up. So yes. So I told so that was my availability. But now apparently a lot of people had posted their availability to not work Saturdays, Sundays, or Fridays, because we can't have two weekend days off, which I understand, since you know we work seven days a week. I get that, you know, don't want to have people work, uh, you know, you can't, a lot of people are requesting Saturday, Sunday, Friday off, you're going to have a lot of issues finding coverage for those days. So I get that, but that also means we should be hiring more people. And I will say this, we have been, it's just a lot of people aren't actually showing up for interviews or anything like that. We want to go to Fort Collins. Keep left. Keep left is what we're doing. Exactly what we're doing. Keep left, I understand. He's gonna follow that red car. But yes, so, with that being said, she basically was telling us that any availability that we have is basically gonna get thrown in the trash and everyone's gonna have open availability unless you have a doctor's note or some sort of document stating otherwise. Well, the thing is, there's a lot of people that requested Saturday off. You know, some of them are, you know, taking care of their family, their parents, and some of them are taking care of their kids. It's the only day they pretty much can. 
So you got those people that are kind of getting screwed. And, you know, you, I don't think you really need a documentation to, you know, take care of your kid or anything like that. And you don't need documentation to take care of your mother. You can't get anything unless it's like a doctor's note. Which, I don't have a doctor's note, so my availability is going to be every day. So I'm going to be definitely getting random days off. No more back-to-back -back days like I've been getting for literally the past like couple months now. So that's another thing that's pretty much pushing me away from this company. And pushing a lot of people away from my job. So, so yeah. Kind of weird that we're allowed to go 75 through here. Keep left. Keep left is what we're doing. Have to change lanes. Old Prime's getting off here. There we go. Going 85 in the hammer. Actually, we're going to be a real cattle haul, and we're going to go 85 in the hammer lane. How's that sound? We're going to be a real cattle hauler today. Bypass the way station. I like what I hear about that. We weren't going to stop at the chicken coop anyway. Set the cruise. Keep left. Understood. There we go. We're going to be a real cattle hauler today. Yep, there it is. Fort Collins, a quarter of a mile. That's where we want to go. Ooh, it's going to be a tough one. There right, we go. We got her. Oh, we couldn't even go that way anyway, man. So good thing we ended up having to get off the interstate. We're going to be a real cattle hauler today, boys. Keep left. Keep left understood. Don't want to be going back to Denver. No, we do not. No, we do not. So it is 50 through here. We're going to go about 60. In the... Nope. Right. Never mind. Keeping right. Never mind. Looks like we're taking a right over here. I believe we're in Fort Collins right now. Right. Yep. Fort Collins. There's the sign. Old iFlop and Walmart. Man, we do make a lot of uh, jokes about her father well let's just say her father's a piece of work so we like to joke about him a lot um he ended up losing both of his legs to cancer but kayla and i do joke about him a lot because you know he was never really there for her he chose drugs over her and stuff and he ended up lying to us uh, about a year ago now he was in the hospital saying he was on his deathbed and he wanted you know kayla to come visit her or visit him and come to find out that he wasn't even on his deathbed he was just in the hospital and wanted to see her so he basically lied to her like he pretty much lied to her his whole life but yes yeah, so we he has no legs right now and we basically make fun of him we're like I wonder where your dad worked back in the day and Caleb pretty much just blurted out I hop since he only since he had or he had like you know two legs when he was younger then it went to one leg and then he finally lost both of his legs and nope, we're not going to wait for the train nope we are not waiting for that train not going to happen I mean trust me I would love to but we got a job to do I wonder who's honking at me man oh don't, don't tell me okay I was about to say I hope this train doesn't tracks don't go lead the same way we're good though we are good. Man, I apologize for the sudden camera changes and camera moves. I do apologize. I'm using the mouse. So I'm not using, like, Track IR or anything like that. I do got to get Track IR working again, though. That's just one of the things that I have that I got to get set up once again and get calibrated and everything. Same with my rail driver. I know I keep saying that I sound like a broken record. That, you know, being busy and all that. It's the same thing every episode. But I do have to try to get all that stuff situated and work yeah, and working again. Looks like our drop off is gonna be here on the right. Alright, going towards Wellington. 
I think we're actually going to ADM this time because it said I think it said Kraft Heinz was straight. Going down Old Terry Lake Road. But yeah, if you guys have seen this truck out, you know, on the interstates or you know where you guys live at and stuff, let me know what it's hauling. Because like I said, it's the last four times I have seen this exact truck. It was hauling cattle. So, yeah. Well, ADM's got some cattle over here. They got horses. Looks like some cows. Yeah, we got some. No, we just got horses. We just got horses. This is kind of like a family farm, it looks like. They might have a contract with ADM. There's an old doggy over there. There's two dogs, it looks like. Yep, there's two German Shepherds. Are they German Shepherds? They look like German Shepherds. Yep, German Shepherds. There's a dude washing his car. Always got to have the dude wash, their, wash his car, man. There's a cleaning supplies. Out of all the things you could name a Ford, you name it Frog. Literally, out of all the things you could have named a Ford, you call it a Frog F-250. That's nice. All right, we're going to hop back in my international here, and we're going to go take this load, or bring this load back to where we're supposed to be at, because, man, we got a Frog F-250, boys. Kind of what kind of new truck did you get, Dad? Oh, I got me an old Frog F-250. Nothing special. Like, ADM's got doubles now, and they got a reefer. And they want us right there, so it looks like we're unloading into this warehouse. Interesting. Oh, he's got to watch me up there. He's going to be like, yeah, this guy's not going to make it. Going to have to go in the grass over here, it looks like, to even try to make this. They really don't give you enough room over here, do they? No, they don't. If they open this gate up a little bit more... I'd have plenty of space. Let's go ahead and open up the window, actually. Yeah, man, if they would open up that gate just a little bit more, we would have had more space. But, you know, we can do with what we got. I think we're about to hit that building. I think we're good. I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. We're going to stop right here and we're going to pull up just a little bit. You know what I'm actually going to do? Make this so much easier on both of us. You know, they, they always say don't go through someone's grass. But there is a spot over here where I could just come around like this. And then we're not going to be able to do a full turnaround, I don't think. But we can actually come back over here. I'm not really sure if I'm supposed to bring a truck over here. I don't think so, but we honestly have no other choice. And we're going to start blindsiding this thing in. Trust me, it's not my first choice. But I feel like this is going to be the easier choice of them all. And I don't think we're going to hit those trailers over there. I want to make sure we don't hit anything over here. Make sure we don't hit that barn door. The stairs. Oh, we're not going to hit those trailers. We got to back perfectly into that spot. Yeah, we got her jacked perfectly into the spot. Son of a gun, dude. Son of a gun. Now he's got to keep slowly moving it. And I'm going to kind of turn up around here. 
as much as I can without, you know, hitting the pillars to knock that guy out of that shack or off that patio or whatever it is, the deck. I think we're good. Yeah, we're not going to hit that trailer. We got it. My plan actually worked, and I didn't think that plan was actually going to work. A little bit more. I see that dude over there. He's trying to spot me a little bit. There we go. They like it there. We like it there too, man. We'll take it. Shut the truck off. And unload the trailer. All right, 388 miles, 75.9 gallons of fuel for $24,292.961 XP. All right, guys, well, that is going to go ahead and do it for this one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.